The race is on. Donovan Bailey, Michael Johnson, meeting halfway over 150 meters. Winner take all. First of all, I'm not coming in here expecting, expecting to lose to anybody. I'm the, the new star of track and field, and so I'm going to take that title. The title of world's fastest man normally goes to the 100 meters, which Bailey won in record time at the Olympics. But when Johnson rewrote the record book in the 200 and 400 meters, and then claimed he was the world's fastest man, Bailey took his shoot. Now the issue will be decided one to one. I fear no one, and when we when you step on the track, it's war. I have nothing against Donovan personally, and I don't think he has anything against me personally, but I mean, when you get on the track, anyone out there is a rival and they're an enemy, and that's the way it is. But consider what was, and Bailey has more to lose. Canadians were crushed when steroids canceled Ben Johnson's claim as world's fastest man, and would be again were Bailey to lose that label this time around. But Bailey claims he's got to race for the good of the sport. Would have continued training and running even, even without this race. But I mean, again, I think that with, with, with the, the, the generated publicity of this race right now, then it definitely would help my teammates. I mean, I think that's very, that, that's very important for me as, as I displayed in the relay and so forth in Atlanta. But Bailey's personal payoff is enormous, whether he wins or not. $500,000 for just showing up and another $1 million if he wins. I'm, I'm an athlete and I try to be the best athlete I can be, but it's very obvious that it's also my job. So I have to be the best person or the best businessman I can possibly be also. This is an opportunity for me business-wise, yes, but it's also an opportunity for me as a competitor to go out there and continue to establish the dominance that I have over the sprint events. So this is much more than who runs faster. It's about fast money, about bragging rights, and about the two egos that crave both. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.